Hello, welcome to Mommy Loves Gardening. Happy gardening everyone. Today I'm going to landscape our coconut tree here. So I hope you'll finish this video so that you'll get some ideas how you could landscape your trees at home. This is the first step that I did. I dug the whole circle to make sure that the roots of the weeds were taken out from the soil. What actually happens when we let the weeds grow together with our plants, instead of the nutrients getting absorbed by the plants we've planted, the weeds are the first to absorb those nutrients, therefore we have to pull it every now and then. Ang pag-gardening po talaga is a form of exercise. Para ka ring nag-gym, o di ba? I'm actually enjoying this during this time. So, pinagpapawisan ako. Na-exercise po yung katawan natin. So, yay. So I'm actually putting rocks around the coconut tree. So here, I started to put the first rock. And that's the biggest one. It is a blessing in disguise that we are situated in a place where there are a lot of rocks and trees around, which made it quite accessible for some of my tree trunk gardening hacks. And with these rocks, I could easily cordon my landscaping. We used to get these rocks downhill just behind our house. Now arranging rocks is easy. You just have to choose the side that you think looks better to be facing the front and then adjust it to fit in.
It's actually very easy. Oh! And I love doing it. Oh! Oh! It's not perfect circle, but it's nice. Okay, so I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna get the soil. This is our small patio. And I'm getting the soil behind here. This, so this is the soil I'm going to use to put on the, on the coconut tree because I want to make a hill. What hill? Uh, just a small hill. I'm digging on the soil. This is a top soil, so it's a top. nice soil. Oh no, it's a top soil. Yeah, it's yeah. black. It's black, see? I want you to dig here, but I think that's snake inside digging down here. Okay, good job, baby. Thank you. Thanks for helping me. Now I'm going to ask my husband to push ha! it. Ha! Got it, got it. Got it, got it. <laughs> I was already very exhausted here. I dug and poured around seven wheelbarrows or trolleys of soil. So after this, I stopped and my husband continued. I think he poured or, and he dug another three wheelbarrows of soil. So although it's very tiring, but I had a good exercise here on this day and I continued the following day I am going to continue by putting the black soil
see there. Nice. I really want to make it to look like a heel, you know. It's like a small heel. What's that? Elevated. I'm going to put on the plants that I wanted to plant. I still don't know how I'm going to put them, so I just want to try. I was designing here, positioning the plants nicely so that I know where exactly to plant them. I'm going to start planting now. This first plant that I'm planting here actually looks like the croton thin long leaves, but it's not. This is a tropic plant though, but I just couldn't find its name. And it's beautiful when it becomes a bush. Perfect on this side. This I have to be very careful because po yung mga ugat lumabas na siya sa plastic ayon. So. I, I never want to hurt the roots. Now you see I only planted two of them because I actually never really want to buy so many plants of the same species. I would rather propagate or wait until they grow. And that's how we could landscape economically. Now this is a Collius plant. They call it irisine herbs tea or herbs blood leaf plant that is native to Brazil. They even cook this with chicken. But I actually never tried cooking this plant. This is the first time I'm having this plant. I bought or four plants of this same species to fill in the gaps in between the plants with red colors. And it will give a lively color of the landscape. Now this is a bromeliad. I have three bromeliads to plant on the other side and I need another three more bromeliads to plant on this side, the outer circle facing the camera. And I'll be getting those three after the lockdown. Now this is the collis and I need another one more collis to plant beside it. In between the other colors and this one. This is my second bromeliad. Some bromeliad like these ones never like direct sunlight or too much sunlight. That's why I put them under the tree. And this is the third one. This is a flaming soil bromeliad and I got this around four months ago. Now I'm propagating two newly grown babies of this. Now let me walk you towards my coconut tree landscaping. Let's see how it looks like from far. There it is. It looks great though, but actually it's not completed yet because I need to put something on top of the soil. However, due to lockdown, I have to wait. And I still have to complete or surround it with more bromeliads. Maybe another four more bromeliads. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe to my channel for more of Mommy Loves Gardening. I hope you learned something from this video. Happy gardening everyone. Maraming salamat po.